last minute bike repairs. Blind panic. <laughs> All right, so we're uh, gearing up to go ride a full enchilada. Well, we're saying we're riding a full enchilada. We're not here to ride half the enchilada. So here's what's happening. Um, Noble was doing kind of like a company trip out to Moab and they invited me along. So I'm here for the ride. And over the week, we're gonna be riding a bunch of different iconic places here in Moab. I've never been here. So um, we're going to be exploring the place uh, or discovering the place uh, at the same time as you guys. I have actively avoided watching any Moab clips. So I kind of know what I'm getting into with some rides, but very surface level. So anyways, uh, let's uh, go to the shuttle and uh, get to it. I feel like we're gonna get along this ride. <laughs> you know what scares me more than doing jumps? Riding on the road. Go ahead. Definitely a different world out here. Have you ridden out here? I haven't ridden out here, no. Urges like this. Have you? Heard? No, never. Oh, really? The only time I've been to Utah was uh, on my way back from uh, the West Coast to the East Coast. Doesn't really count when you're in the car. <laughs> totally not. You know, that's quite of an ironic sticker for you to have because, like, you work more than anyone I, I know. Need to <laughs> I need to Yours should say work more, ride more. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, work more. yeah, I work more so I can ride whenever I want. Yeah. Is it easier if I give you my bars this side or that side? Just like you got it. Okay. Only two, okay. Feel like this is one of those circus clown cars. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we just got word that they're dropping us off at a different spot because there's construction on the road and um, they can't bring us to the very top like they would normally do. So we're kind of doing more of a um, enchilada, not the enchilada. Oh. Alright, so it's actually a little bit chilly up here, so I'm gonna go ahead and put on my jacket, but I think once we get into the ride, before I take this off. Alright, don't do this very often, but I'm actually carrying a tube with me. It's one of the very few times you'll see me with one of those. But if there's any ride to carry a tube, this one. All right, so they just got some rain before we got here. So some of the things are going to be a little bit wet. And then as I stated earlier, we're not doing the full, full enchilada. We're missing out on a portion of it. Yeah. Whew. Am I feeling the elevation or am I just out of shape? Well, that's elevation 100%. Okay. What is our elevation in feet? Yeah, wow. We're at, like, we're over 9,000. Whew. So where, where would we have started? Would it be up there? Um, I think around the back yeah, side of that one. Would and we have started yeah, you come over that, right? Around, that. around it, like around the back side of it. <laughs> okay. It started quite a bit higher on it. Yeah. yeah. Okay, are we ready to go, everybody? Ready for Shreddy. <laughs> The dirt's nice and grippy. So I guess a lot of this area is a bunch of pasture. So as we were driving up, we just saw a bunch of cows randomly like sprinkled throughout the landscape. It seemed so out of place. And so that thing that we just went across, the cattle grate, that thing alone helps keep the cattle is on one side of the fence or the other. But right there you can see a, a cow. <laughs> How's it going? All right, got a little bit more descending here. You know what, I kind of wish I had brush guards on my hands. Those little uh, things on the side, when you're whacking them going through, 
I kind of sting. So each like part of this ride has a kind of a different aesthetic because there's different like alpine zones. So if we had done the top, it would look much different than this area. Then this area will look much different than the next section. Oh. Whew, my hands are killing me. Oh yeah. I realize it somehow. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I don't feel comfortable with that stuff because like everything's high on blind, it's a little bit slippery. Yeah. And those rocks are super friendly. You come into the, you go around a corner and then it's like jaggedy. Like, yeah. Like, are you uh are you good with wheelie dropping? <laughs> I can do a wheelie drop. Good with skinnies? <laughs> skinnies not so much. Wheelie drops, yeah. Because we're riding down forever, so like charging is like whatever. You ride this trail, if it's kind of boring like this, sure, go fast. But when it opens up and it's plateau, there's all kinds of like cool up and over boulders where you like get onto it and like huck off the other side and like like cool side lines. Yeah, fun like trousy stuff. Yeah, exactly. So if you're into that, I wouldn't like pin it or you'll just be like, oh, I didn't see that. Oh, I didn't see that. brighter over here dude that section was actually pretty fun that was so fun <laughs> i was on a wee little bike too like some of it you're on your bike you just like let it rip yeah i didn't have to uh think about line choice no yeah you didn't i definitely <laughs> i was zigzagging all over the place what is that 130 130 on the front 115 in the back oh it's yeah. an over four cross country bike yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. a down country bike yeah, okay. <laughs> who are you and what do you do at noble uh, I'm Russell Thiessen. I'm uh, quality control and purchasing. So yeah, I make sure the wheels are 100% to spec when they go out the door. All right, so what does that entail? Uh, just double checking for, we have checks along the whole way of the building process, but checking hub spacing, wheel diameter, graphics, hub colors, hub specs, free hub, uh, any scratches, any nicks from the building, making sure they're just 100% out. Oh, that cow grate was sketchy. Smooth metal and wet is not a good combination. <laughs> nope. Fuck. <laughs> That's crazy. Hopefully it's... Yeah. yeah not like uh, got an arrow in the... <laughs> yeah. When I was at Porter's uh, this past few days, uh, we were cleaning up his dirt jumps and I got, he had like this uh, kind of a shrub that grows at the bottom and it leaves a uh, goat head. You don't see them, and then like they're they will just go right through your your tire. And there's like I'm not even kidding. There are thousands of them. It's yeah. like someone just took a bunch of thumbtacks and just threw them on the ground. And this kind of like these kind of trails, it's hard for me to like know where I'm going because I'm used to being in between the trees and using the trees to kind of guide me. But here we're using kind of logs on the side. Hello. Who's ready for portal? <laughs> Believe it or not, I'm not a fan of heights. That stuff is scary. Yeah, they kind of like guide you with these old trees or whatever they are. Go 
Oh, thank you. That's a cool line. Did you guys bring your Did you guys bring your zip line? Wouldn't that be fun, eh? <laughs> It'd be uh, electrifying. Woo! <laughs> cool. I, I, uh... Dropped out of one class. Guess what class that was? I actually failed the class. For you, I'm going to say it's something tech related, so. 100%. <laughs> what was it? Uh, software programming. <laughs> Sometimes it's better to teach yourself or just have the right environment to learn that stuff. Totally. Oh, bad gear, bad gear, bad gear. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. This is the snatch. The chute is cool though, because you got a, a, a rock wall and you can't push out and go too close to it. You have to like ride a bit of a skinny because there's like a a crack. Yeah. So you kind of have to like follow the skinny and you're like watching your bars and it's just like a chute. Um, but that's pretty much this whole line. It's like corner, corner, shoot, and then you're done. This way, I don't know. They say this is harder. I don't know. This is fun. I don't want to say anything. Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> I was like, this is way easier than the other line, but maybe there's just this one there. Oh, man. Oh, God. What? Go right there. You kind, of, you kind of want to get your momentum and just kind of carry on. Whoa, but it's like pretty jank. My, my, I'm just going to put my front wheel down on that yeah, and turn. You have to. It's not terrible, but it's not good. Yeah. Uh, there's some uh, lovely wire sticking out too. Just tuck that away. Oh. Yeah, I don't feel like I'm going to hit this one today. I don't want to do this before, right? I don't understand how you make that noise. Phil, Charles. I will do my best. <laughs> Are you doing it? I will do it. Alright, drop it in. perfect like enough dirt to like not if you crash once you get to there not a big deal you're just yeah you're... but if you crash up there yeah then you're tumbling down rocks. <laughs> i 
can't believe how slow you held up here. I thought you were going to have to let it go and just like hang on. Yeah. But you, you, like, you got like one good like... Like I, I was like wondering if I was going to run into this because like there's not a whole lot of support right there. Yeah. More than I thought down here. I mean, the thing is, my audience loves to see me do stupid things. So <laughs> I feel like that's like just people in general. There's there's an incentive for me to like risk my life to like I'm just like a dancing monkey. <laughs> okay. It was it was pretty sketch. Yeah. yeah. And all I could hear was like, "Oh, that was." Two more. There are a few more dirt bikes coming, so just have to watch out for that. Thanks guys. Yeah. Got some cola gummies. Well, maybe if we were. Courtesy of Liam over here. Thought ahead. No. <laughs> Saving my life. Yeah. Come on downhill. Where are you? Are you right here? Is this the downhill? Line to maintain some speed through here. Ah. It's kind of hard to maintain speed some places. Hard. It's like downhill, but it's just like every step is just like holding you back. It's not steep enough. <laughs> if this was just like two degrees steeper, I yeah. think these bikes would be way faster here. Yeah. I could totally feel I'm just like getting hung up. It's definitely fun. It's like it's a different kind of line choice where it's so open and it's like, where do I go? How much can I hop over? Yeah. <laughs> That's fun. Now we're talking. What is going on with my shifting? My derailleur came loose. You should check your bolt, dude. I was just wondering the same thing. Yeah, it was, yeah, very loose. Oh, yeah. Actually, yeah. Especially when you, like, you get into one of the like, like sections, that, you gotta yeah. slow right down and then you kind of like apart, hyper like... animal. All right. Yeah. Oh my 
<laughs> Just trials it. Yeah. It. She did it smoothest. <laughs> Whoa, you rolled it. Yeah. Uh, Turns out there's a little bit of a puncture on the side of the sidewall, so couldn't fill it. I need to warm up again. Big hook to plot. Drop there that I missed. So there's a bigger huck to flat over here. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely not pile style. That's like jumping on a mattress. <laughs> yeah. It looks like the trail used to go up there, but now it goes right. What's here? I was not expecting a Charlesy section right there. We're good, we're good. good? Yeah. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> no, I'm okay. Yep. My watch is trying to call 911. Yeah. That was a, that was a taste. <laughs> Just a taste of Moab, boy. <laughs> so it, it doesn't taste like enchilada. <laughs> There's a crew. Another one. So, you know that uh, <laughs> torpedo thing we shoved in there? Yeah. It has the point on it. Oh, the plastic the, the stands one. Exactly. Yep. Yeah. Daddy. So we needed to pull. The tire. It's yeah. Ah, so we needed plastic. to pull that thing out and then put another tube in. Oh God. Everyone gets new tubes this year. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for saving the day. <laughs> Ooh, somebody has a bent pedal or a bent crank. 
I don't know which one it is. Yeah, all right, I need to do a uh, quick, which one is it? Ah, it's a bent crank. You bent it? Oh yeah. That's a funny little thing. Thanks, Terry. I don't know why you keep giving me splits. I'm not asking for them. to see those signs. There you go. Where? Oh, right there. I was going down there, I was like, where did the trail go? No. There's so many sick little tech lines down there. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, the line. There we go. <laughs> Not done yet. I was like, I thought you were a draws guy. I am. <laughs> I'm like, sketch out with clips, like, even like, they're like super tight. That is actually a very valid point. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> Whoa. <sighs> ah. Some really cool lines here. Back to the sun. I was quite enjoying the shade we had. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Vic. Made it. In the evening, it's kind of just. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. Yeah. Just kind ah, of fun. Don't even hang in. Nice. Good ages of kids. Um, anywhere from nice the is that, you? that ride to me is a little bit more of an adventure, kind of like scenic ride, where you're experiencing something that's completely different. 100%. Yeah. And then I think there's rides that are like the rides that I gravitate towards. They're more straight up technical or like yeah. gnarly, but like those are for a different day. Yeah. <laughs> that was a ride. I'm uh, kind of uh, dreading editing this video because I have so much footage. That that was really cool. That was a different ride that I've done in the past and uh, it was definitely worth doing. But uh, now I'm going to enjoy this uh, Lime Pilsner and uh, take it easy. So see you guys next time. Peace.